Mitchell Boggs was a big pitcher that came to us from the south, a very effective pitcher. I recall seeing him work up in Lowell on one occasion. Sad to say, there were always very few people in the stands up there, but uh, Mitch was great for us. Uh, he had a good season in 2004, and it was a tough year for the Gulls, but Mitch learned some good lessons with us. He went on to a, an outstanding career in professional baseball, pitched in a World Series for the St. Louis Cardinals. A friend of mine named Greg Grawl, who was a catcher in the Cincinnati Reds organization or a manager at the time, um, had called me up about a pitcher he was catching during the winter at University of Georgia. And his name was Mitchell Boggs, of course. And he called me up and said, hey Chuck, this kid is pretty good. He came to Georgia, I guess, as a quarterback and uh, decided to play baseball. And he said that he had a pretty good fastball, but a very good um, big league slider. So I said, you know, uh, Greg, uh, tell me more about him. And I called his coach and we said, okay, we'd like to take him. Boggs is clearly one of the Gulls' best pitchers. and um, He is their ace, without a doubt. Yeah, in 29 and two-thirds inning, he's only given up three earned runs. He's gotten 45 strikeouts, the most on the team. Well, when I think about Mitchell Boggs, I guess I think about Wade Boggs. So he was uh, Boggs' uh, person to add to the... Uh, to the Newport Gulls roster and at a time that uh, I know he was a little late coming from the University of Georgia. He had uh, was in the College World Series and uh, became a starter right away from Newport and an amazing record. 4-0 with a .91 uh, ERA. He had 45 strikeouts and went 29 to two-thirds innings and he was a his second team on any CBL. And uh, he had a great uh, slider with his out pitches I remember and I think batters hit about 178 against him and he was 2-0 in the playoffs and what, 23 strikeouts and only three walks. And uh, he started the final game against Sanford in the championship series, I believe, and uh, pitched well, but the team fell a bit short that year, but uh, he got his World Series ring with the Cardinals. Mitchell Boggs, uh, I remember Mitchell Boggs coming in from Georgia. Um, I was fortunate enough and lucky enough to pick him up at the airport that day. and. Uh, we got him a little bit later in the season. Uh, we didn't get him with the start. We got a little later. But I remember picking uh, Mitchell up at the airport and bringing him out to Newport. And um, at the time, we were kind of fighting for him, uh, fighting with the Cape League for him because they wanted him as well. So we, we went out, we got Mitchell, and it was a great addition to the team. Uh, big right-hander from Georgia. Had as bad as Georgia had on when we picked him up at the airport. Uh, long hair, nice kid. Um, and uh, really performed well for us. Uh, did very well and really got better each start as he, uh, you know, as he went out there. And by the end of the year, uh, you knew you had something special with Mitchell. He was uh, that kind of player. So uh, very, very good goal on and off the field and in the community. So pleasure to have. The pitch. Oh, third strike right down the middle. Well, Mitchell was a guy. Uh, came up from Georgia. Played for us that summer, and um, you know, had great guy. Power fastball, power slider. Came in, didn't have any problem pitching against the wood bats and, and dominating. And um, you know, took us to the championship that year. Uh, great guy in the clubhouse, and just what an arm! It's it a pleasure to catch him. My husband and I had the privilege of hosting Mitchell Boggs back in the year 2004. Mitchell was from the South. He was a uh, right-handed pitcher and he was the first person ever to call me ma'am. Uh, the first day he arrived, the team was away. It was 4th of July weekend, and my husband spent part of the afternoon giving him a driving lesson on a stick shift. Needless to say, the 1977 Toyota is still around. Um, I can remember we were at a game in Warwick, and I looked at Mitchell and I looked at his stance. A great pitcher. Uh, I know the experts say a pitcher has to have three different throws um, to make it in the majors. To my knowledge, he had two, but what do the experts know? And I have something to show you. It's a game ball from the World Series, which the St. Louis Cardinals won in the year 2011. And Mitchell, thank you for thinking of us, and you're a great guy.